Today I'm staying at the world's best gaming capsule hotel that is literally 30 times cheaper than the average hotel with an entire buffet making it one of the cheapest hotels in the world but is it really that good? You're about to find out because I'm staying in one of the best rooms in the hotel which as you will see later it was simply a paradise for gamers This might be the best capsule hotel ever Hello and welcome to the gaming capsule hotel where from the moment you step into it you're surrounded by some of the best gaming computers for professional esports players with seats so comfortable it's almost like sitting on a throne. And just a few steps away, you will find this other section so amazing. You know it's for serious gamers. Because now you have your own cubicle with massive gaming sofas. And some of them are so big, I bet you could fit multiple people into it. My first impression, a capsule hotel with a lot of fancy computers. After taking the stairs, I could not believe there was even more to this hotel. As I found another place where all the computers lined up. As if it was designed for the whole team to play. This was also when they gave me a cup and told me I could drink whatever I want and it was completely free because each floor had a dedicated all-you-can-drink buffet so first I tried this drink made from passion fruit then added a little bit of Sprite and finally some smoothie but it doesn't want to calm down. I almost drink someone else's drink because all the cups look the same but the deeper you go you start to see the fancy luxurious side of this hotel. For example I bet you never saw a toilet with blue water and gamers have to keep themselves clean so they have washers just for you and a wall that is literally a library but after getting lost in the hotel because it was simply too massive. It's finally time to show you the gaming capsule. And the first thing you would notice would be the bed, as it was way bigger and longer than your typical capsule hotels or even normal hotels. The pillow was pretty solid and it felt like one of those pillows on the airplane. The mattress was a portable one but way fancier. Overall it's great and you wouldn't notice you're sleeping inside the capsule hotel. The room was also big enough to do some jumping jacks, yoga practice, and whatever it is that I'm currently doing. And it's super tall as if it's two hotel rooms combined into one. The wall was thick and I didn't hear much noise other than when people slammed the doors really hard. And if you don't like hot weather, fear not because each room has its own separate air conditioner which I decided to turn on even though it's winter and it was so cold. I don't know why there's a hidden compartment in the wall but obviously for a gaming capsule hotel, the gaming part was the one thing that matters the most. And apart from the fancy gaming sofa with back support, always nice to have. A huge curved monitor perfect for gaming and you can even rotate this so technically you could even use it from the bed. The mouse and keyboard and even the mouse pad look completely new which is so unbelievable. Next to your table you have a place to charge your phone which already has a cable with multiple heads in case you need to charge three different phones at a time. And guess what else is here? Your very own headphone all tangled up almost like they just bought it so you had to plug it in yourself. I don't think you can adjust the size of the headphone but you can bend the microphone in whatever direction which is pretty cool. And I used it to listen to a video where I went to a pretty awesome hotel. You can watch it after this one. And there's totally enough room for your legs to relax. But after some good old Angry Bird in 2024, leave a comment you played back in the days. I got hungry and that's when they literally told me I could order room service directly in my computer without ever leaving my seat. They really know how to treat a gamer. Okay, so I just ordered some food. Now we just have to wait. Oh, so that's where they hide their computer. I was wondering where it was. And before I could even finish loading up Witcher 3, the food was delivered to me and from from left to right, first you have a chocolate bread that legit has a lot of chocolate. And this noodle thing, which I guess is for vegetarian because it's green. And well, it's kind of like instant noodle, but they added a lot of stuff. And some drinks, which I guess is milk tea. Gotta have that gamer energy somehow. My favorite things about this place were totally the free drinks and the fact that you can sleep, wake up, and go right back to gaming. But I really don't know how this hotel can be so great and cheap at the same time. But after a quick nap, all good things must come to an end. So my first time staying in the gaming capsule hotel. Very clean, super comfortable, and way cheaper than a normal hotel. I can see this being a great option even not for gamers. But the next capsule hotel I'm staying at is even more insane because in this video I went to the most expensive luxury capsule hotel ever where you literally eat and sleep like a 5 star hotel. But why not just stay in a 5 star hotel? Well if you click on the video you'll find out why that capsule hotel was the best. <laughs> 